He is known for being a British author who specialized in historical fiction. He is recognized for his novels set in the French religious wars of the late 16th and early 17th centuries. His name is Stanley J. Wayman. In the realm of literature, there are names that leave an indelible mark, and one such name is Stanley John Wayman. Born in Ludlow, Shropshire on August 7, 1855, Wayman hailed from a family of legal professionals. After completing his education at Shrewsbury School in Christ Church, Oxford, where he obtained a degree in modern history, Wayman found himself at a crossroads. Though he initially pursued a career as a barrister, his shy and soft-spoken nature hindered his success in the courtroom. However, this setback provided him with the opportunity to explore his passion for writing. In 1881, Wayman was called to the bar, but his lack of success as a barrister led him to focus more on his writing endeavors. His short story, King Pippin and Sweet Clive, caught the attention of James Payne, the editor of the Cornhill magazine. Payne, himself a novelist, advised Wayman to pursue writing novels instead, recognizing his talent and potential for success in the literary world. Encouraged by positive feedback on an article he wrote on Oliver Cromwell, which was published in the English Historical Review, Wayman saw himself as a historian with a flair for storytelling. However, Wayman faced a significant setback in 1885 when his declining health forced him to seek respite in the south of France. During this time, he and his younger brother Arthur were unexpectedly arrested on suspicion of espionage in Aramitz. This harrowing experience proved to be a turning point for the 30-year-old writer. Prior to this, Wayman had struggled to make a living through his short stories. But now, galvanized by the ordeal, he set his sights on a more substantial literary career. In 1890, Wayman published his first novel, The House of the Wolf, which would become the first of many successful works. His novels often centered around the French religious wars of the late 16th and early 17th centuries, showcasing his prowess as a historical fiction writer. In 1891, Wayman made the decision to become a full-time writer. Four years later, he married Charlotte Panting and settled in Rithin, Wales, where they spent the rest of their lives together. Wayman's literary journey came to an end on April 10, 1928, when he passed away. His wife survived him by four years, and they did not have any children. Despite his initial struggles and his shy disposition, Stanley John Wayman's contributions to literature remain a testament to the power of perseverance and the ability to create captivating stories that stand the test of time. Stanley, born in Ludlow, Shropshire in 1855, was the second son of a solicitor. He attended Shrewsbury School and Christ Church, Oxford, where he studied modern history. After a brief teaching stint, he returned to Ludlow to live with his widowed mother, finding little success as a barrister due to his shy and nervous nature. However, his lack of briefs gave him the opportunity to pursue his true passion, writing. His short story, King Pippin and Sweet Clive, gained attention when it was published in the Cornhill magazine. Encouraged by positive reviews for an article he wrote on Oliver Cromwell, Wayman saw himself as a historian and began to focus on writing novels. In 1885, Wayman's ill health led him to spend time in the south of France with his brother Arthur. It was during this time that the brothers were unexpectedly arrested on suspicion of espionage in Aramitz. This ordeal became a turning point for the 30-year-old Wayman, who had been struggling to make a living from his short stories. It galvanized him to write his first novel, The House of the Wolf, published in 1890 and set in the French religious wars. In 1891, Wayman made the decision to become a full-time writer. Four years later, he married Charlotte Panting and settled in Rithin, Wales, where they would spend the rest of their lives together. Wayman passed away in 1928, with his wife surviving him by four years. They did not have any children. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.